Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. Well, it's more of a waffle over a photo slideshow. What I'd like to know is, when did coaxial cables change from copper to copper plated steel? Now I thought with RG58 and RG8 and all the rest of the specifications, if you look back at the technical data sheet, it says it's copper. Now I'm finding, recently since I've come back into Radio Amateur, that I've been having problems with coaxial cables. And I soldered the connectors on, and a few weeks later, the inner core's broken. So I reconnect the cable again, cut it back, reconnect the PL259s. And I've had this about a dozen times now. And what I've found out is the cables are not copper anymore. They're steel and they're copper coated steel. And you can prove this because if you get a magnet and hold it against the screen or the cable, a small magnet, it sticks to the cable. And when you cut it back, the strands of cable you've broken, you've cut off, stick to a magnet. So what I'd like to know is, what, is it just me having these problems, or is it everyone? And when did the specification change to move away from copper to steel? They're nowhere near as good as what they used to be. I know electronic components such as resistors and capacitors, the lead wires changed ooh, about 10, 15 years ago from copper to steel. And uh, on certain types of wire cutters, it can actually break the cutters. Lindstrom cutters had this problem. But anyway, can anybody answer this question? Or is it the fact I've been buying fake cables? and they're coming in from different countries, I don't know. Is anybody else having this problem with cables, coaxial cables for ham radio, where the, the cables are not copper anymore, they're steel? So please contact me or put a comment on this video. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like.